everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I've had questions what this machine is, right? Here. This is a copy machine, is what it is. When I had the daycare, I used to make copies, and I used to make books. I have a bookmaking machine also, and I have these things because I had the daycare. If I wouldn't have had the daycare, I would have not needed these at all because the other thing you have is t-shirt making machine. Oh I have a t-shirt making machine too. Yeah, a I did laminator. That. And yeah. a laminator. <laughs> I have a lot of things because of the businesses that I have run. Today though I have been thinking and it's not good thinking sometimes because what it was is I brought <laughs> I know. What it was is I watched Dave's It's Ghetto Vans Adventures. I will put his link in. I was watching his video and he was his question was has van life is van life going to come to an end or something like that or is it going to be difficult to do to have to be living in your van and traveling around and then what happens is Jim's watching um, outer limits, outer limits. <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> where they're putting implanting things in the brain to make them follow the rules and be in the program. In other words, you're going to be, they're like little zombie boys that have to um, follow directions. Whatever they tell them to do, they just do without question. And what has, it's kind of like scary in a way because I was thinking, gosh, I wonder if they will make us get those, the shots for the, or the vaccination for this virus that's out there. Or, Will we have the choice of not getting it? And will we be able to travel if we don't get it? And there has been thinking that, what if they don't let you in the stores and then we'll have to just do the curbside buying. We just won't be buying many things. And um, just, just, it was a lot of thinking. So have you thought about it? Are our freedoms gonna be gone? It feels like it, doesn't it, sometimes? And this is only because of the video that I watched and now the Outer Limits TV show that it's it's possible I think well, that for a lot and of all things. the other restrictions that they've put on us in that the past it, year makes it scary I hope you're not scared but I'm getting scared and I live in the country so um, I don't know it's just kind of scary kind of mind-boggling Supposed to be a free country, but uh, I, I wonder know. how much freer it's going to be. Uh, it's scary, and I'm and I, every time something like this is happening, I'm so glad my parents are not alive for for this because it would have really made it very difficult for them. I think now they mm -hmm. were in there. My mother was four months short of being ninety when she passed away. My dad was ninety three. So can you imagine all that they have seen through their lifetime? A lot more than I've seen. And my mom was, I think, about 30 years older than me. Well, she'd be 100 now, so she was more like... Almost 40. Almost, well, well no, because I'm almost 70. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Almost, almost 30 years. years. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm going to be 69. Can you believe it? My daughter said that the other day. And I says, no, I'm 67. She go, And Jim goes, no, you retired <laughs> when you were 67. I go, oh, yeah, that's right. And I've been off for a year, so I must be 68. Going to be... 69 in March. Oh my stars! I guess it's it's creeping up there and I and to, I used to wish that I was 16. Actually I wished I was 20 or 21. Maybe it was 20. 18. Maybe 18. Because at 18 I could I could go into a bar and drink if I wanted to but I didn't drink. And at 18 I could vote and I didn't have to. No at 21 I could vote. I couldn't vote at 18. I could drink at 18 but I couldn't vote till 21. And I didn't get a driver's license till I was 19. And all oh, just funny things have happened. But I'm so glad that my parents are not around for all this crazies because I'm sure they would have not wanted to take the shot because my mom had the flu one time so bad after getting the shot that it would have scared her to, to take it. In fact, she was mm. so sick. It was terrible. Actually, she called. they called me and I had to go to their house because she was really bad, real bad. So and she had never had. The and she flu had never before, had the flu before. Or after. Right. She never got the shot again, and she never had the flu before it, and she never had it after. And the same thing with my dad. He only got it once, and he never got it again because they got sick. 
And the doctors will tell you it was because you were going to get sick that you got sick. Well, I don't, I don't know. I, I, it makes you wonder. Do, I don't believe it. I, I don't know what to believe after a while because we're never told the real truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you. <laughs> so that's it. Bye.